Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so let's get let's get on with this battle here. Starting off right with a 20 stack, first 20 stack battle. Um, <clears throat> my hope is to use the bats and the dire wolves much as we have been uh, in the other battles. Hopefully I can keep um, that half stack of dire wolves alive. Because um, they do have a chevron. Um, but I mean, if they die, no big deal. But I think, I think we'll be okay as long as we can use our magic appropriately. Um, let's see that they might have to come to us. If they have to come to us, because what's our range? 140. What is the Yeoman? 125. Technically, they have to come to us. I mean, I could, we could squeeze into this gap. That's not a bad idea. But... We're not going to corner camp. We don't need to corner camp. King but we are Archon the Black. King of Liches. You just heard it. Straight from the horse's mouth. Alright. Usual, usual setup. Um, looks like they're... They're the Lord's over there, so let's put the Scorpion on that side, and then we will put... Uh, we'll, you know what, we'll go heavy, um, I forget what they used to call this in Roman tactics, you go heavy one side, and um, basically just crush your opponent on one side, and then work your way down the line. I forget what that strategy is called, but anyway, forgive me. Uh, let's move. Here we go. These guys, all these guys. I want all the bats and, and dire wolves together. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna go back here. We're gonna wait. And uh, yeah, have the neck tech go for these guys. Um, hold on now, because I want to select targets. Um, and we're just going to do this and go down the line. Okay, and then we're, I'm just going to let my archers do their thing. Uh, we're going to do that. Um, and I don't know what I want to do with. I guess we'll cast it on the Twitch Ghouls. They seem to be pretty effective against. Um, the, uh, the Yeoman, so that's good. And then, we'll send those bats after those Yeoman, these bats after these guys, these bats after these guys, wolves, wolves, and then, um, two sets of wolves after those guys. Just because we have them out outnumbered. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And, oh, Spearman Sandwich. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, where are you? Okay. One. Ghoul's over here. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? With your legs. Okay, good. That's good. Where is, where's my Tomb Scorpion? Tomb Scorpion always seems to not be fighting, which is super frustrating. Um, keep the Necrotect close. We're gonna work our way down. Like I said, we're gonna work our way down the line. Get, uh, get after him there. Uh, might as well send... Okay, so I want these guys to just chase them down. Um, these guys. Oh, that's the Lord. Uh, that's why. Okay. Get out from there. Okay. And let's. Okay. 
let's forget the Lord. Forget the Lord. He's very tough, and all of their other units are very squishy. So we're gonna go after all their squishy guys. Makes sense. All right. Cast that. Okay. We don't have our physical protection yet. Um, yes. Uh, I want all my bats over here. And in fact, just send all units that way. Where are? Okay. And yep, we're gonna lose him. Son of a gun. All right, this lord is is a nightmare. Um, because he's like the only thing killing my units, but he's really doing a number on him. I mean, maybe Arkin can uh, tempt him to have an actual engagement. Um, and that's not good. Those are my archers. So we're gonna get those guys out of there. Um, all right, and then. Okay, so yeah, just run those guys down. If you can. Alright, and yeah, this is just the mounted. The mounted Yeomen are just the worst. They're just so annoying. Um, okay, and yeah, just keep running them down, please. Uh, okay, good. Healing is kicked in. That's good. Uh, cast that damaging spell. Going to cast uh, physical resistance. What is? What is? Why are you getting damaged? Please, please kill these guys, okay? I don't want to lose a unit of bats as well. That would be super frustrating. But just the worst. They're just the worst thing in the world to deal with. Miserable unit to have to deal with, Not especially like when your whole entire like race is just super slow. It's just, ugh, ugh, it's maddening. It's maddening. Right. And then, why, why did you stop again? You're supposed to be okay. Thank, Jeebus. Okay. Close victory. Yeah, I would, I would agree. That was not uh, that was not super pretty, but I believe he was in March stance, so I think he's dead. So he's done. So what we need to do is we need to, I mean, just continually winnow this guy down until he's got like nothing left. And because um, what I'm assuming, I don't know this for sure, but what I'm assuming is going to happen is uh, he's going to continue to send these crappy armies that we can defeat, but can do enough damage that we can't then go immediately siege his settlement. I have no idea if that's accurate, but it seems like something I would do, like if I had no other choice. Uh, Louis would whisper, prophet and scribe of the, to the Phoenix King, Ethel Lorne, is it one salvation and damnation? We walked about betwixt greatness everlasting and complete annihilation. Only the forest has the answer, and the forest is too often silent to the question. Hmm. Interesting. Never heard of that character before. So again, um, our dire wolves doing a lot of work. We lost three units there, so that's no good. Um, don't want to up replenish me. I'm just going to keep taking the money. I'll be honest with you. I'll continually take the money. Um, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll get carrying instead of uh, bats. Because what's, what's the difference here? Okay, so they have 20 armor. They have much higher melee attack. Higher melee defense, higher weapon strength. There's only 24 instead of 60. Like, that's the... That's the... And they're slower. Give me the bats. I, I do like when flyers have a lot of units, because that swamps the enemy. Um, we'll do Usurian's Incantation of Vengeance. And then... 
we have one more turn till we can get another army. That will be huge. It's going to be huge. Okay. Then I just want these guys to leave me alone. If these guys leave me alone, that would be fantastic. Okay, Lich Priest Barry, okay, hero action. Enemy hero success. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll pay more to not have enemy heroes hurt me more. Yeah. It seems like a logical trade. Um, we'll just stay here. I want, I want to get fully healed. And oh, thank God. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay. So that's good. Ammunition and missile strength and Lord's army. Okay. Okay. Let's. You know what? Let's let's do Ram Ram Ramaket. Ram Ram Ramaket. Whatever his name is. I'm just gonna go crap load of spearmen. Cause that's all we have, and I like the spearmen more than the uh, the swordsmen. Um, Easy to hold against Bretonians, of course. Uh, and then we'll do Stone Shaper, right? Because, yeah, okay. We'll do Stone Shaper, continue to augment uh, our constructs. And then, okay. So we will do the Ritual of Sucked, which will increase the speed of our Tomb Scorpion and increase their melee attack and defense. And then we will probably, I'll, I might do the Boon of Ula Tap, um, just because carry and early game are pretty good might do that or we'll go um, towards this we'll do the fourth dynasty because I don't think I mean we're not going to have Necropolis Knights anytime soon I mean, we might have Ushapti but I mean I to be honest I'd rather have um, Tomb Guard okay and okay so he's just chilling but you know what let's put him in this settlement because I believe memory serves. Find he's in the settlement. Arm. Affects public order more, like, in a positive manner. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Just all, all, uh, screaming. Okay. Okay, so now we'll finally have a fully healed up army for the first time in ah, feels like forever about five turns or so oh my god would you just just f off dude it, it, and do I I have a, like a non-aggression pack with these guys right oh my god just go away like I really want somebody to kill these guys. Look at that, look at the chaos corruption. Oh my god. Please. Leave me alone. Alright. Uh, uh, ambush. Hopefully that will work. What do you have? Okay, so he's got a pretty good garrison. Foot squires. Those would be a giant problem. The knights, the knights would be a problem that we could deal with because we have spears. But okay, so that's was that seven, twelve. You, these that's nineteen me. already, right there. So I'll I'll probably have to wait until that other army is a full twenty sack because I'm just there's no way I can take this with the army I have. And this is kind of a oh oh doubt. You cannot barter now. I know your weakness. So this guy probably wants a peace treaty. Nah, bro. No, you're 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 a dead man. Um, and I would say this is probably reminiscent of uh, true Arkan experience, mainly because like he was he was always hated by pretty much everyone. Because he was uh, Nagash's lapdog. In fact, let's read book two. Let's go to the second book of Nagash. Okay. Book two 
of Nagash. Let's read the, the excerpt. But a throne would not suffice for the insatiable sorcerer. Seeking greater power, he threw himself into the study of dark magic, melding it with necromancy to unlock the very secrets of eternal life. He poured all he had learned into his blasphemous opus, the nine books of Nagash. The next stage of his plan, is, if successful, would magnify his powers immeasurably. So, um, if you guys don't power know, in life. Uh, Nagash's whole story dark is that he went ahead and captured some Dark Elves. Now, he didn't do it on purpose. Uh, the Dark Elves, I think they were either raiding, I believe they were raiding a Kemric city of some type, and they got captured by... Um, okay. so it is said that a drop of purest venom placed upon the lips of the sacrificial victim will rouse the scorpion god himself. So that's pretty nice. And then, should I do this? Should I do the carrion? It's pretty nice. Melee defense charge bonus. Yeah, I might as well, because otherwise, because the research gets crazy. See, so I already went from 15 to 21 turns. Um, and the only way to increase the um, research rate, if, if I'm not mistaken, I, for, I forget even how to increase it. I don't know if there is a way. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's nuts. It's nuts. So. Ooh, alright. So we are going to upgrade the Wizard's Caliph Palace. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Level 3 capital. Um, so. I am a lord of Bretonia. So he's Never. already got 14 units. I am a lord of Bretonia. Crazy ridiculous. Never. But how close is so Arkham needs? Okay, so it needs one, one, two, three, four. I need four more levels to get lightning strike. Um, so anyway, um, they were raiding a uh, Nahekaran settlement. They got captured, and Nagash, you know, took them for questioning. Figured out they were magic users, and figured out that like they knew secrets of magic that he did not, but. Um, he also knew things that they did not, so he, like, kept them entombed strict. Nice. Uh, he kept them, uh, alive in some prison. I forget where it was. I think, I think it was, like, some, uh, some pyramid or so some, somewhere. He kept them somewhere, right? And, uh, he was just like, look, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna tell me, I'm just gonna like leave you here to My rot glory. until you change your mind and realize that helping me is probably much easier than trying to get out of the prison I have you in so they're like alright fine we'll help you and <clears throat> so basically the dark elves taught um, Nagash the secrets of dark magic and that's where he created necromancy, he is the father of necromancy, he created it, um, and so the Dark Elves are basically to blame for that, which, you know, of course, like, of course the Dark Elves would be to blame for something like that, because they're just the worst. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's, uh, the short history of how Nagash came to learn and be the father of necromancy, so, just an interesting little tidbit there. Um, and I don't know if they explain it in the lore blurbs for, uh, Curses. <clears throat> jerks. Um, I don't know if they explain it, you know, later on, so I figured I'd explain it now, just in case they don't explain it later, like the connection between dark magic and Nagash and all that. And we're gonna just... Keep on laying ambush. I know will. this is like end turn. My will be done. End turn awesomeness. Arise, but, all right, we're at least gonna move forward, and we'll get get one sad, lonely group of sort. Nah, you know what? No, all spearmen, all spearmen all day. Let's go, baby. And then, okay, that's the Paul stalkers. I just want to make sure. Okay, the chariot. 
chariots would be nice. Chariots would be nice. And chariots I can get much faster than Toon Guard. Hmm. But Toon Guard, you know, they're just they're just so good. Hmm. Toon Guard or Chariots. I don't know which way I want to go, but I have to make a decision. Um, I'm going Toon Guard. I mean, 21 turns, that's a super long time. That's a super long time. By the way, you don't need to repair buildings. Uh, they do slowly repair themselves. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's another little handy tip for you. Save some gold. As long as you can uh, handle the public order penalty. Uh, you might as well just leave it, it's not a big deal.